Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. Fernando Tatis Jr. hunting here from a fresh case. Now, you can win the Padres if you bought at least two teams. Right? By an even number of teams, half of those become entries to chase the Padres and Fernando Tatis Jr. No vet common ship, four box of 2019 right here. So big thanks to everyone here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. So now let's alphabetize your names by first name right here. And let's see who followed directions. Alec, two teams, one entry. Alex, two teams, one entry. Charles, two teams, one entry. Logan going big, eight teams. That's four entries. Mary Lou, two teams, an entry. Matt Stubblefield, two teams, an entry. Patrick Davis, two teams, an entry. Richard Miller, four teams, two entries. Steve Moser, two teams, one en entry. And Wes Thomas, two teams, one entry. So that's a total of 14 on this list. Name on top gets the Padres after nine times, five and a four. Good luck. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Logan, there you go, man. Five and four, nine times, there you are. Winner, winner. Let's get your name in there with the Padres. Let's sort this back by team alphabetically again. And let's print and rip. Oh, we have to rip open this fresh case, too. Let's see which four boxes we're going to do. There it is. There's box opportunities in here too so let's just shave the top two boxes off of each stack so now we got stacks of four one two three four five six on the dice roll we'll use that flamingo die right there one two three four five six and it's two one two so the far left box right here we'll save these for next time So this will be the next pick your team. All right, so we marked all those pick your teams. So next break, we'll just grab four random boxes and we'll just go from there. Did I post the next one? I'll post it after this break if I haven't done so already. Oh, next one is already up. Okay. Good luck, everybody. All right, baseball season. It's going to happen pretty soon. Major League Baseball to have an official and annual Lou Gehrig Day on June 2nd. Jackie Bradley Jr. signed with the Brew Crew. Got some players. We got LeCastro testing positive for COVID. Max Fried scratched due to a possible COVID exposure. Reds' Akiyama, Shogo Akiyama, returns after wife seriously injured? What happened there? 
A tree fell on her in a park in Ohio. Wow, that's wild. She was walking in Sharon Woods in Cincinnati and a tree fell on her. It's terrifying. Uh, well, I, it sounds like she's going to be okay, though. Wow, that's crazy. Here's box one. Good luck, everybody. There's Jack. We were just talking about Jackie Bradley Jr. There he is. Michael Chavis, rated rookie hollow. Michael Chavis will go to Boston. It's going to go to... Um, Steve, Steve Moser with the Red. I couldn't see it for a second. With the Red Sox, thanks everyone for getting in. Speaking of Boston, we were just talking a little Boston Celtics basketball before this break. Dave Barrow's pointing out that Boston has Langford, Jalen Brown, Taco Fall, Tristan Thompson, Kemba, Marcus Smart. They got the chips to make to make a move, and maybe they will make a move, especially since Peyton Pritchard is doing pretty well. He is. There's Kyle Tucker. To 50. I like that Eloy Jimenez too. Kyle Tucker going to Houston. That'll be for Charles. Last spot mojo. Eloy Jimenez will go to Richard and the White Sox. There's Jake Cave. Red, white, and blue to 150 for Minnesota. That'll be for Alec. And the autograph is going to be Taylor Trammell. Trammell? Trammell? I think it's Alan Trammell and Taylor Trammell is how he pronounces it. Rated prospect autograph. Pink Velocity. And that is a Reds edition. Oliver Soria. There you go, Oliver. There's Royce Lewis. Rated prospect. Poor Royce Lewis. He did his ACL, I think. I don't know how, but he did, he did it. Steven Duggar. For the Giants, 99. My rivals, that'll be for Logan. Jonathan Loizaga and Brandon Lau. Here's a rated prospect, Alec Baum. Looks to be really, looks to be really strong. And Eloy him and his rated rookie autograph. Nice one, Richard. Part of the part of that great young team they have out there, led by a very old Tony Larusa, which I think will be interesting. And a couple Mookie Betts cards right there as well. Gino saying they'd be insane. Boston Celtics would be insane to to trade Jalen Brown. It would be, but they gotta they gotta do something. Yeah, I think I think Stubblefield was mentioning earlier that that I think maybe the the misses. Well, Kemba Walker, I'd still give him some chances, but I mean I think the miss on Kyrie Irving, maybe some poor drafting. I feel like Danny Ainge has there might might need to be a change in that front office. They, they had so many draft, so much draft capital, and what happened with it? Not, I mean, they acquired a lot of it. And everyone was like, "Oh, look at all these draft picks! They're going to do something amazing with this." But that amazing never really turned out, turned up. So I don't know. Oh, Dave Vero saying you read that he had torn it a few days earlier before camp was about to break. Interesting. Is there is that drama? I was expecting big things from him this year. Right? Yeah, Eloy Jimenez in that lineup, he's gonna be he's gonna be doing just fine. 
You got Luis Robert. You got you got Jose Abreu in that lineup. You got Nick Madrigal in that lineup. Andrew Vaughn, I think, is in that lineup too. Wait, let's let's look at this White Sox depth chart, which I think is gonna be pretty scary. Right, you got Yasmani Grandal at catcher, Jose Abreu, Nick Madrigal at second, Yohan Mancada or Danny Mendick at third, Tim Anderson at short, Eloy in the outfield, Luis, Robert in the outfield, Adam Eaton, Andrew Vaughn maybe DHing. <laughs> that's a that's an excellent team. Oh, Matthew Stubblefield thinking maybe maybe there's a there's an Isaiah Thomas curse. It could be, yeah. That was a little rough how they handled that situation. But yeah, the Chicago White Sox, switching back to baseball really quick, I think are gonna be pretty gonna be pretty scary. Yeah, I don't know why I don't understand why they got La Russa instead of I don't know, Guillen would have been pretty pretty fun. He's he's a he's this is a pretty interesting quote. There's Michael Kopech. It's another guy that could be in the mix this year, right? That's another White Sox autograph for Richard Miller. Pete Alonzo. Rated rookie card. Yeah, Ozzie Gein's a little insane, but he was a good, maybe maybe too good of a quote sometimes. <laughs> There's Rowdy Tellez to uh, for Wes and the Blue Jays. Is that a? Is this might be the autograph hot box? Ryan O'Hearn, rated rookie hollow. Chris Shaw, pink velocity to 199. Cedric Mullins, rated rookie. 59 out of 99. Orioles, Logan. Rated rookie. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Blue Jays, that's going to be Wes Thomas. Chris Shaw to 199 once again for the Giants. Logan. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Wesley and the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. That's that. That could be a pretty interesting team. We got. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Marcus Simeon they got from the A's, Kevin Biggio, Bo Bichette, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., George Springer, Teoscar Hernandez, and Rowdy Tellez at DH. That's a pretty good team, too. Not bad pitching, either. Hyunjin Ru, Youngster, Nate Pearson, Robbie Ray could have a nice bounce back. If he bounces back, that's, that's going to be a great player. There's Goldschmidt right there to 125. Tanner Rourke, Steven Motts at the back of that rotation. Not too shabby. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, Logan saying, come on, Tatis. I got two boxes to go. Look at the, let's look at the Padres depth chart going into this season. I mean, they've got, they overhauled their... Uh, What's up, Sean? They overhauled their pitching staff. They've got Yu Darvish, Blake Snell at the top of that rotation. Denilson Lamette is still pretty solid. Chris Paddock and Joe Musgrove at the back of that rotation. It's pretty nice. I think Simeon will still play second base. Maybe that means Kevin Biggio maybe takes like a role player or super utility player kind of role. Austin Nola. Oh, Biggio to third. Where does Bichette go? Oh, Bichette's at short. 
I was so confused because you were talking, you said let's look at Padres, and then all of a sudden you were talking about BJ, and I was like, what? No, I was looking at the chat. Uh, Padres got Eric Hosmer at first, Cronenworth at second, Machado at third, Tatis, that's an incredible infield, Tatis at short, Fam Grisham and Will Myers in the outfield. So that should be a lot. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll go, we got 45 orders here, so we'll go through some orders in a bit and see what we've got lined up for Sean. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that uh, that flawless break and then have Sean go through the orders and we'll, we'll go from there. We can do that. So yeah, Padres are going to be scary. Braves. I think Vlad Jr. should stay at first. I mean, I, I heard some Braves fans who were not happy that the Braves weren't really making moves, but getting Ozuna back re-signed is pretty good. I mean, you have, still have to realize that Acuna Jr., Christian Pache, and Ozzie Albies, even Dansby Swanson, they can get better. That's the thing. I was just like, the next steps that, uh, that Ozzie Albies and Acuna take could be like a new signing in and of itself, and that's scary to think about with how, with how young they are. There's Garrett Hampson. Rockies auto. It's going to Patrick Davis. So I wouldn't be too concerned with that. I think bringing Ozuna back is awesome too. Uh, Patrick Davis with the Rockies. And they could always make some mid-season trades the Braves can if they need to. There's Yadier Molina. He re-signed with the Cardinals. That's to 99. Darwin's on Hernandez to 76. The We the People insert or a parallel. Right. Charlie Morton's on that squad now. Drew Smiley. To go with Ian Anderson, Mike Soroka, Max Freed. There's uh, Adbert Alzale for the Cubbies. That's going to go to Alex. Yeah, NL East is tough, though. I agree, Tristan. I don't think the Dodgers come back in that series if, if Mike Soroka was around. But yeah, I mean Brave Braves are Braves are super close to just taking it to the next to that next level. It's a good team. There's Aaron Judge to fifty, all stars. And a Cavan Vigio rated prospect hollow for the Blue Jays, West Thomas. Last box coming up. That NL East is gonna be tough. I think I think the NL East teams are gonna be beating up on each other. Mets, yeah, Nick Nick Bacello is a huge Mets fan. Disappointed that that they didn't go for Charlie Morton instead of their their rivals, the Braves. But still, Jacob Degrom, Carlos Carrasco, Marcus Stroman, Taiwan Walker. I mean that that's pretty solid. That's a pretty great rotation. Cindergard still in the mix once once he's healthy, I guess. Is he still? I like James McCann at catcher. You know, I think he calls a good ball game. Pete Alonso is going to be great. Jeff McNeil could win an NL batting title. J.D. Davis, Francisco Lindor at shortstop is excellent. You got Dominic Smith, Brandon Nemo, Michael Conforto in the outfield. Maybe a little Jonathan Villar action at DH when if when if they if that ever comes back to the NL. So the Mets are definitely going for it. Again, you know, 
Strowman isn't too liked in New York now after opting out. Well, the, he he better be, he better be well rested this year. I don't, that Phillies team isn't too bad, Matthew. That, that NL East is going to be tough. They're going to be beating up on each other all year long. They, I mean, they got to get a little more starting pitching outside of Aaron Nola and then Zach Wheeler, Zach Eflin, Matt Moore, Chase Anderson. That's not scaring anybody. But JT Real Muto, they re-signed. That was big. Reese Hoskins can still bang him into the seats. Gene Segura is solid. Alec Baum almost won Rookie of the Year. Didi Gregori is solid. You know, Andrew McCutcheon, great veteran player out there. Roman Quinn is all right. And Bryce Harper kind of gets back to, uh, I think Bryce Harper had a decent year last year, but he can just, he can go off at any time too. Yeah, their starting pitching is not going to help them though. All right. Jose Barrios reveals a Brandon Belt, 18 out of 99 optic autographs. That goes to my rivals, the Giants, Logan. Eighteen out of ninety-nine. Caleb Ferguson rated rookie hollow for the Dodgers. There's Xander Bogarts to seventy-five. I think didn't Arietta sign a one year with the Cubs? Yeah, Subblefield saying he's back with the Cubbies. There's Francisco Lindor, still Cleveland edition to fifty. Jeff McNeil, Blake Snell to 50, still Tampa Bay edition. So let's round out the, so who's the other, oh, my, the Miami Marlins are the last team in the, in that division, but that's, the, but they, they were kind of surprising. They've got like a young, hungry team, right? They got Garrett Cooper, Starling Marte, Adam Duvall can still slug it, Corey Dick, Brian Anderson. They got a lot of youngsters too. Isan Diaz, Jazz Chisholm. You know, so they've they've got some guys that can surprise some people. And our uh, Justice Sheffield is your other autograph for Seattle. That's going to go to Mary Lou. They they've got Sixto Sanchez in that rotation. He's an emerging star. So they could, they, they could, they could, I don't know, at least make it, uh, I think they're fun to watch. They got a lot of, a lot of youngsters that they're going to play. They're going to be fun to watch. Here's an autograph hot box, by the way. Usnail Diaz. There you go. For Baltimore, that's going to go to Logan. So, yeah, so I, I think they're going to be a fun team. They're not going to be an easy out. Because, you know, they got a taste of a little playoff action last year. So I think that makes them pretty competitive. So Sean Reed Foley. So I, I, I think that's going to be a pretty tough division, the NL East. There's Aaron Judge. And we got Eniel De Los Santos is our final autograph of the break for the Philadelphia Phillies. Logan with the Phillies. All right, nothing crazy for you, Logan, Padres-wise, but... But I appreciate you getting I appreciate everybody getting into the action. This was four box. Pick your team number one. The next pick your team is in the store, so go and check it out. Remember to buy at least two teams. Just buy an even number of teams, and half of those become entries for a chance at the Padres. We're still chasing Fernando Tatis Jr. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break.